This is my review time for Infinite Warfare Beta, Weekend 1. Hopefully it doesn't come as a big shock to you when I release some of these details. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been scouring the internet like most people, looking at videos, trying to see what the game looks like and plays like. Now let's get this started. The first thing that I noticed right off the bat was the guns. Gun balancing is an issue in this game. It seems like most of the time I was getting killed from across the map with a submachine gun rather than an assault rifle. That's a problem. Assault rifles seem very weak, especially up close. I was having a hard time until I was able to unlock those certain named weapons to get kills. I have heard that they've made statements that this is the best looking Call of Duty ever made. I have to totally disagree with that. It's not the best looking Call of Duty ever made. It's not a bad looking Call of Duty. It does look a lot like Call of Duty Ghost that has been retooled, reworked, and re-envisioned. A lot of the graininess from Call of Duty Ghost is still present in this game. The guns look clean. The animations act properly. Camo colors. Camos in this game seem like they need a lot of work. Most of the camos look like something that's been pulled away from other games like Medal of Honor. If you go back and look at Medal of Honor games, you'll see that a lot of these camos kind of look washed out. It doesn't look like they put much effort into these camos, which is kind of disheartening. I know we're bitching about camos. That is where you spend most of your time is with your gun in hand. That is your main visual. I think they should spend more time on the camos than what they have put into it so far. Finding connections is a big problem. I know you guys guys have probably heard day one PlayStation 4 it was almost 100% unplayable. I spent four hours sitting and I got to play four games so it was about a game an hour. It was very horrible. Day one launch of the beta was one of the worst launch betas that I've ever seen. On day two it seemed like a lot of the problems were resolved still having some troubles finding matches. Even though we were having trouble finding matches once we got into a match the game felt really clean. The animations looked nice. A lot of the things though seemed to be a copy paste from Black Ops 3. If you've not noticed a lot of the boost jumping, it has been slowed down. Some of the animations seem to be a little smoother than Black Ops 3. The fast gameplay action does provide a sense of enjoyment while at the same time causing some confusion about who is an enemy and who is not. Your enemies do not seem very well outlined when you're playing the game. It seems hard to notice who is your enemy and who is on your team, especially in close quarter combat. This can be a problem. Most of the time in these games, of course, they have highlighted the flanking abilities and I see that in these maps. It seems like there's multiple flight points, multiple ways to get in two flanks, which doesn't really hurt the game, but if you're sniping, it's going to create a hell of a headache for you. You're always going to be watching your back. All in all, the game seems like it has something good to bring. As far as, is it better than Modern Warfare Remastered? That is to be seen. We'll see that as Modern Warfare Remastered multiplayer comes online, but coming from someone who has played Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare had a better multiplayer. Hopefully, Call of Duty has learned from their mistakes with the futuristic gameplay. I will still play this game. I've already paid for the game. I'm going to play it. Will I play it a whole lot? I've got to give it a solid swing. We're going to see if we can hit it out of the park. And as long as they keep a lot of this pay to win shit out of the game, I think the game will be pretty good. If you're looking for a gun that's going to be something that's going to decimate, you're going to have to go in, customize your own guns because a lot of your default guns are pretty weak. You'll go up against the same person using a same gun by a different name and they will totally decimate you. I'm a hardcore player. I don't play core games and with this game being a core based as of right now, it's hard to say how the hardcore is going to work. I hope that it works really well. But guys, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this review. Let me know what your impressions are of the beta. If you like it, you hate it, you're going to cancel your pre-order, you're going to tell your friends about it, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Guys, this has been Mad Recoil. Hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a thumbs up on this video. It helps me out. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. And if you've not subscribed, click that subscribe. Till next time.